This lesson is designed to help the speaker affect the Cockney accent using key vowel and consonant changes as applied to a text. Drop the initial H using the final consonant of the previous word. Matterow, 2i, Sako, Torzang, Tidezangs, Blondair. The long E becomes A, Ego, Sheet, Weeping, Heat, Underachiever. It's a fine line between the American E and the Cockney Darkened E. In the American accent, these words are pronounced razor sharp, Ego, Sheet, Weeping. The Cockney sounds like an eternal third grader. The long E is smudged with mischief. Weeping. Heat. Underachiever. Uh, the following is a passage. The opening passage of Pandora 2013. Hullabaloo. Tour guide Sebastian Unger explains his relationship to the shopping center that tourists visit in the hope of living out their fantasies. I have a love-hate relationship with the former Crescent Beach Mall. I love it, and it hates me. Tourists bump my ego by saying I have my fingers on the poster box, but I don't buy that. Just when I think I have it all figured out, I'm in for another rude awakening. No matter how many envelopes of cash get pressed into my palms, the price is both too high and too low. Today, it's one of those suck old dread January mornings that I've come to dread. The sky is a white sheet and the weeping willow trees outside Pandora's tours hangs like a frozen shower of twigs. When I moved to South Carolina, I figured I would never have to turn on the heat again. I was wrong about that one. When it comes to Pandora's box, I've been wrong about a lot of things. My office has as much class as an off-shaven armpit. A framed movie poster of the Prince of Tides hangs crookedly on the faux wood paneling. The fluorescent bulb above my scuffed desk blinks like a spastic kid on the Pop Rocks diet. The pie-faced tourist sitting across from me is a bald and neuroses. His blonde hair is double cut. His puppy dog eyes and fat lips have the impotent quality of an underachiever. He's about 30. But I would bet my shoes he still lives with his mother. Now you might now prepare a spot of tea, listen to the lesson once more, then attempt to read the passage from the about section of this post. After you've given it a try, you might compare yourself to this recording. Why not make a video of yourself reading the monologue, then post a video response? I'll approve it if it's done in earnest and halfway decent. And you'll be of great service to the next bloke who comes around looking to improve his or her Cockney dialect. Cheers, Governor. <laughs>